This morning I'm going to discuss really quickly how to end or stop a process in, X, in uh, PowerShell. And uh, really quickly, one of the things that I want to point out is only I only do this if there's one application that's hanging on, um, or I'll only do this in a, a script that calls a function where I quit the application and I notice that sometimes it doesn't actually quit. So PowerShell will, will terminate the process. Uh, but the reason why I say that is because I wouldn't use this if you have a bunch of applications that just aren't closing out when you quit them. That might be a deeper problem. But I'll give you a really fast example. My Windows 8 computer over here, um, this not this one, uh, but my other computer, when I close Chrome, it never terminates. And all other applications terminate when I close them, but Chrome does not. And, you know, I've done several hours of troubleshooting on the internet like what's going on and installed a few things and, and didn't help and so finally I was like you know it's just faster to just terminate it in PowerShell since it's only one application that's doing this and so I've been doing that for the last few months on the flip side you may be one of those who just wants to troubleshoot it to death and uh, none of the things that I was doing was yielding results so let's go ahead and um, uh, terminate this computer I'd say about 50% of the time that I close Excel it'll close and 50% of the time it won't close and how I determine that is by going to uh, task manager and I'll see that Excel is still open now of course Excel is open because it is open right now um, but if I terminate the process in Excel I'm sorry uh, terminate Excel you'll notice that it's not open anymore. And so 100% of the time when PowerShell terminates it, it terminates it. And like I said, when I close Excel by, you know, hitting the little red X, um, only about 50% of the time it does. And like I said, in my other computer, it's the Chrome that throws the error or didn't throw an error. It just doesn't close. Uh, so PowerShell will stop the process. I have never come across an example where PowerShell failed to stop the process. Um, it will terminate those processes. But again, if you have that problem with multiple applications, I would definitely get your computer checked out because that might be a deeper problem. If it's just only happening in one application, go ahead and troubleshoot it. But if you've spent several hours and it's just you're not seeing results like I didn't see with the, the Google Chrome on this other computer, I this is just a really fast way you can do this. And as you can see, I have it saved to where if Excel's loaded, it's always available for me to call. Uh, once I terminate Excel. The purpose of that is, as you see, if I go ahead and I start Excel, I'll go ahead and start it really fast, um, go back to Task Manager, and this also happens with Google Chrome, especially with Google Chrome. It's kind of a a memory chewer upper. Um, you'll notice that it is eating memory. So if it doesn't close out, it's just there chewing memory if I'm not using it. So even if I close Excel and it's still open here, it's still consuming that memory. Same thing with Chrome on this other computer. It's, I want to say, about 40, uh, 40K memory, I'm sorry, 40,000K memory in this other computer. And if it's just open, it's just chewing up that memory, even if it looks like it's been closed. And so PowerShell will, will terminate that so that it's not using that memory anymore. But again, if you have multiple applications that this is a problem in, I would definitely get your computer checked out.